Hi, this is Megan from Mishmash Homeschool, and today we're going to be looking at 180 Days of Math for Kindergarten. This was one of the first homeschool books that we purchased for my daughter for homeschool math, and I'd heard a lot of really great things about the 180-day programs for math and for learning to read, and so we took a look at this one um, and we're going to take a look inside, and then I'll talk a little bit about our thoughts about this program. So 180 Days of Math for Kindergarten. And inside, it has how to use this book. And then it starts right into the lessons. Um, with this program, there aren't any actual lessons where you would walk through something with your child. It's more just activities. So you can see here, they color three blocks, and they work on what time it is, count how many stars in all, circle the color the circles, and then here on the side, you can add a score for the different parts that they do. One thing about this program is that it jumps all over, so it's not focusing just on coloring three blocks and knowing the number or working on time all at one time. It's doing a lot of different skills all at once, and then it, it spirals back through. So here you can see circle the object that weighs more. There's not a lesson that talks about which weighs more or which um, how to measure something by weight. It just jumps right into it. So if your child struggles with this, then you could go back and maybe teach that subject um, in more in depth. And it goes that way all the way through and it gets progressively harder. So here you can see they're doing um, basic addition, some more geometry, circle the shape with the three sides. Circle how long it takes to wink, one second, one minute, one hour, so understanding the different times. Circle the time it takes to tie your shoe. Some more time, what time is it? Learning how to read a clock. Another weight question. Circle the object that weighs the least. Circle how many bagels you could eat for breakfast, two or 20. And it just goes through like that all the way through the whole program. Back here, there's an answer key at the back of the book. And so if you needed help figuring out which answer was the correct answer for the, the program, then you could use this. One thing I really liked about this book, too, is that it comes with a teacher resource CD. And usually these kinds of CDs, they don't really have a lot of extra resources on it, but with this it has the whole entire book on the CD. So what we did is we printed out copies so that my daughter could write on the copies and then kept the book intact. Um, and so that's a really nice feature, especially if you have multiple kids and you wanted to reuse something from here, you could use that. So for our thoughts on this program, um, one thing that I did like about it is that it goes through a lot of different kinds of of problems, different topics, but I don't love that there's not an introduction to those topics. So you're really on your own to teach each topic um, and kind of see where your child is struggling, but it doesn't give any support on how to teach those topics. The other thing that I didn't love and didn't work really great for my daughter was that it did jump around so much so we didn't get a chance to really focus in on just one topic and master that before moving on, but it does spiral back. So if there's something like in the example earlier with the weight, it'll come up multiple times. So if they don't get it the first time, you'll get a chance to work on it again and again. Um, and then just not having the teaching tools. So this is more of like a supplement is how we ended up using it. So this is a great supplement for some extra work on math, but maybe not a great just as your core curriculum, especially as you get up into the upper grades. For kindergarten, it was sort of an introduction to math. Um, but for the upper grades, I think it's better maybe to have a more complete curriculum, something that walks the students through how to do the problems or walks you through how to teach the different kinds of problems. Um, but this is a great supplement if you're looking for something extra for math. And my daughter enjoyed doing it, especially with the little smiley faces on the side. She liked to get lots of smiley faces. Um, so that part's pretty fun. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and look for more. Thank you.